What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Bible and Minecraft. Today, we're going to be in the Old Testament in the book of Daniel, starting in chapter 3. And it goes a little something like this. Our story is about three lads. They worshiped God and it made him glad. They lived in a nation ruled by a king, Nebuchadnezzar, his name be. The king made a statue 90 feet wide and nine feet tall. He expected it to be worshiped by all. Mm. Let's see if everyone did, in fact, worship it. Did these three guys that we're talking about today give in? Or did they stand true and worship the one true God? Well, the king made a rule. If they do not obey the sire, they will be thrown into a furnace filled with fire. When the loud music was heard, the three friends, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego just stood. The king gave them another chance to fall, but the three of them just stood nice and tall. Good job, man. You think about that, like everyone around them, all of their friends, everyone else was bowing, but not them. They didn't give in, they stood tall. Well, angry the king became, so he ordered the guards to take them away. To the fiery furnace they headed. <laughs> but the three said that they were God protected. The king ordered the furnace to be turned up seven times hotter. And the Bible tells us that it got so hot that it even killed the soldiers who were taking the guys there. Seven times hotter, it killed those guys like a fly swatter. Chapter 3, verse 19 says, Nebuchadnezzar was so furious with the three that his face became distorted with rage. He commanded that the furnace be heated seven times hotter than usual. Whoa. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego into the furnace they went, but you know what? They had no fear, not even a hint. Then the king looked in and said, um, three men, three we threw in? And other people are looking around and they're like, uh, yes, yes, we did. Well, do you guys know what happened next? Let's take a look at God's word. The king replied, I see four men in the center one looks like the son of God, giving them shelter. The king yelled to the boys, come out. The power of God saved them. There was no doubt. They didn't smell like smoke. Their robes were unburned. The power of God was surely learned. King Nebuchadnezzar made a new rule that could not be denied. All were to worship Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego's God, the Most High. Wow, there is so much that happens right here in chapter three of the book of Daniel. All right, well guys, thanks so much for watching and joining me for another look at God's awesome, holy, powerful word and a little fun with Minecraft sprinkled in. Have a great week.